Welcome to the World Summit on the Information Society 2016 here in Geneva, Switzerland. And I'm joined by Ren Essomage of Evolving Consulting. Ren, you are organizing a workshop this afternoon on the uh, digital economy for development. So what's the link between how can the digital economy actually foster development? Well, uh, it has been widely said that digital economy will bring uh, a lot of transformation within our society, create new jobs, wealth and, and several other things. Uh, what we want to stress uh, this afternoon is the fact that we have only half of uh, the worldwide population on the internet and that if we want to achieve uh, a successful and sustainable digital economy we need to get more and more people on board so we need actually to look a little bit uh, after the digital inclusion um, we need to look uh, after people who are not digitally uh, literate or native and who don't have access to the internet and I imagine that access to the internet is a particular issue in Africa, which is why you've been holding since 2010 these ICT days for African women. Can you tell me about them? Well, basically, uh, when we started in 2010, it was a kind of digital education. That was the main purpose. And then we found that uh, when people uh, have kind of basic knowledge uh, uh, into ICT, then they need to know a little bit more about how to use it. Uh, they need to be trained on coding and all those things. So we are just trying to move every year with people and give a kind of uh, digital education and, and bring them into this world, uh, this new world. And what sort of response do you get? Uh, basically, um, when we are talking to, to youth, uh, this is something that is a kind of intuitive uh, because Digital, it's a little bit in their DNA, so they, they got into it very easily. And when it comes to uh, a very mature people, uh, we are trying to apply what we call technology by usage. Uh, and uh, I, I have a very good example with my parents uh, using Viber uh, because uh, they have uh, uh, children that are living in Europe and when you call your children every day, uh, with, uh, it costs a lot and then you, you discover Viber and see, well, this is free and it's kind of, uh, uh, you get the information very quickly, you can reach them very easily. So uh, those are the kind of things where we are trying to just show the positive aspect of digital uh, in their daily life. And you mention your parents uh, and you say you're from Cameroon. Cameroon's a massive country, of course. Tell me, how is Cameroon progressing on the road to transforming digitally? Uh, uh, the country actually started in 2011 by uh, creating the, the regulatory framework, the ICT regulatory framework, and even going further on consumer protection and all those things. And after that, they started some uh, uh, very big infrastructure project. Uh, one of the biggest projects is called the Central African Backbone. Uh, and uh, um, in parallel to that, they set up what we, they call uh, the, the EPOS infrastructure, which is a very big data center that was built with uh, a partnership with Chinese uh, um, government. And now um, it's another stage where uh, we are looking more into the application and the services, especially the e-government and the e-administration. And this is the next step uh, done in, in cooperation with uh, uh, the African Development Bank. Thank you very much, Ren Essomage, for being with us this afternoon. Thank you for having me. And you will find many of the interviews that we do with experts from industry, civil society and academia on the YouTube channel of the ITU this week, live from the WISIS Forum here in Geneva, Switzerland.